12-year-old Frankie currently thinks she's having a normal day at school. But it's a little bit of a lie. She has no idea what we've got in store for her. Woo! Her best pal Livy wrote to Blue Peter to tell us how Frankie used sport to overcome bullying and troubles with mental health. If you're struggling, talk to someone, ask for help. People care. Livy told us that Frankie is now campaigning to get more girls into sport. Hard times is more common than you think. Just remember, you're not on your own. She set up her own girls' rugby team, and she wants even more people to feel the boost to mental health that she's had from sport. So you stay active, stay awesome. Frankie is a real inspiration. So we're sneaking into school to get the lowdown whilst Frankie's in her lesson. It's French, right? OK, so we're in the languages corridor now. Let me think. Ooh, je m'appelle Chini, et nous avons une surprise pour toi. <laughs> Someone who knows Frankie well is her PE teacher, Mrs. Burns. I hope you've done your homework, Frankie, because I want a word with her. So, Mrs. Burns, can you tell us a little bit about what Frankie's like in PE? She's just really conscientious and hardworking, and, you know, anything that she can give her all, she will. Frankie's gone through a bit in her journey. She's overcome some bullying. Yeah, with that, she just hasn't ever really let anything, you know, stop her or get her down. She's dealt with it really well, you know, brushed herself off and carried on regardless. Because of all of Frankie's efforts, we've lined up a special surprise. Mrs. Burns has organised for Frankie and some of her friends to head off on a school PE trip. But what they don't know is that they're actually going to the Saracens Rugby Stadium, where I'll be there to meet them. I spy my little eye something that is green. The girls have just arrived. Let's tell them why they're really here. Hi, guys. I'm Sheeny from Blue Peter. And I'm here to tell you that your PE trip isn't just a normal day. Frankie, we've heard about how amazing you are and we've heard how much you love rugby. So we've organised for you and your friends to be coached by the England Red Roses today. <laughs> how are you feeling? Are you surprised? Frankie and her friends will be getting a masterclass with three of the world's current number one team, the England Red Roses. Scrum half Mo Hunt, Centre Tatiana Hurd and all time Premiership try scorer Poppy Cleal. Do you see any red roses anywhere? We got any red roses? Oh! Hey, come on, come on, let's go! Hey, hey. Hey. You okay? Um, heard you're up for a bit of rugby training today. Yes! yes. Come on then. <laughs> so we're going to go around the waist, through the legs, and then pass it behind us, all right? Three, two, one, go. So around the waist. Through the legs. <laughs> yes, <Dad. laughs> it's your Eva. Let's go. Let's go the try, let's go the try. Oh. I'm loving brushing up on my rugby technique. And while I work on my ball handling skills, I want to take the chance to catch up with Frankie. So much better. Well done. Can you tell me a little bit about what sport's done for you and why it's important for mental health? If you're having like a day that's really bad, you can just go out and forget all about it. Nice, like a good like clearing of the head. Yeah, it's helped me a lot. But any time I feel, oh, I'm really worried or something, I just go and pass the rugby ball around. <laughs> We've had a little bit of your experiences. I know that you had a, a rough time a little bit with bullying and such. And yeah. how has sports helped you or how have you overcome that? I like, I like sports because it shows that I'm not scared of doing stuff that people are telling me not to do. Absolutely. I think it's really important, right, for girls to play sports such as rugby. Yeah. There's two reasons. The first reason is because it's really good, and also it's because it's to show people that girls can play it as well. So it's always, it's always been, oh, men's rugby, men's rugby. But over the past couple of years, it's been like, oh, girls' rugby, women's rugby. So it's that shift, and it's so yeah. important, isn't it? Yeah. That's enough chat from me. There's some serious coaching to be done. Make sure you keep running forward. Well, while you make the pass, you're going to be stopping the defenders and they're going to wonder what you're going to do. Right. OK, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, well done. Yes, and then what are you going to do? Yes, exactly. Great work. That was the best one so far. Oh! No! <laughs> so quick. No. Too quick for me. Gosh. Right, Frankie, give me a number. Day so far, one to ten. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Well, I think we can even make it an eleven. That's right. Best pal Livy is on the way with an even bigger surprise. 
Hi Sheenie, it's me Libby. I'm on my way to the Stone Edge right now to surprise Frankie. See you soon. Bye! Livy, lovely to meet you. Have you got the badge? Yeah, I do. <gasps> Amazing! Shall we go break the news, Frankie? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. When they pass it, they can't go past the last play on the other team. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Frankie, we have one final surprise for you. So, we were thinking, for all the amazing things that you do, including raising awareness for mental health issues and campaigning to get kids better access to sports, you are deserving of our highest accolade. Do you want to get it out, Livy? The Gold Blue Peter Badge. <laughs> Come on, Livy, hand it over. Thanks. What an amazing day for Frankie and a very well-deserved Gold Blue Peter Badge.